Hi there, Perfecto De Caster here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, we electric guitar players love gain. <laughs> There's no denying it. However, in the pursuit of more gain, we tend to forget some of the essential fundamentals in our playing because we tend to use gain as a crutch. So with the help of the LPD Pedal 74 Deluxe, I will share with you my tips on how to play with less gain. Here we go. The LPD 74 Deluxe is the expanded version of the original 74 Deluxe single pedal. The voicing of which is that of a roaring British stack with a lot of gain. However, in designing the 74 Deluxe, Lawrence Petros decided to give it a less gain <laughs> instead of piling it on. So the original 74 pedal is in the red channel with the voice toggle switch up. And then from there, we get three new voicings. Red channel with the toggle switch down, shifts the mid to a lower part of the frequency. The green channel is pretty much a push to crunchy version of the, you know, the, the gainier red channel. Both channels share the same four band EQ, bass, middle, treble, and presence. And each channel gets their own level and gain. A lot of 74 Deluxe videos here on YouTube focus on the gainier side of the pedal. So in this video, since we're talking about playing with less gain, I will pretty much showcase the green channel from the track to the playing examples a little later on. Big thanks to LPD Pedals for sponsoring this video and for letting me use the 74 Deluxe in this format, which is more of a guitar tips, learning, sharing type of session instead of a straight up gear demo. If you want to get your own 74 Deluxe and to check out the rest of the LPD pedals line, I will put a link to their website in the video description. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this guitar sharing format where I showcase the gear in practical use. Okay, jam time. I am playing my Crafter Type 1 Class Modern Soul HSS guitar. And that is going straight into the 74 Deluxe and into a Deluxe Reverb Amp model. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I am staying in the green channel. The first half of the song will have the voice toggle switch down. And then halfway through, I toggle it up. That way you can hear the difference in tone. Oh, and I borrowed my good friend Henning Polly's pet lick for the B section of this song. Why not? I mean, I can see that. That's a, that's a much better event. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Henry.
Okay, my first tip involves setting up the gain staging, which is the balance between your clean tone and the overdriven tones. So here is the deluxe reverb amp model. Squeaky clean with just a hint of plate reverb. When I kick in an overdrive or distortion pedal, I want a little bit of lift given to the guitar sound. So let's see, let's put the level knob at noon, which should be around, you know, unity. Unity means uh, even levels. So you find unity and bump it just a little past it. So maybe right there. Okay. Maybe a little more. There you go. So aside from lifting your guitar signal, this ensures that you are sending a nice, strong guitar tone into your amplifier. Now the 74 Deluxe being a dual drive pedal means I can actually get two more levels of lift. Clean. Lift one with the green channel. And then another lift via the red channel. Yeah, more is more. By the way, if this is your first time hearing the 74 Deluxe, let me show you what the original tone of the single pedal is, which is red channel and toggle up. A lot of fun. And here's a quick comparison of the voice switch. Okay, enough of the red channel. That's not what this video is about. I'm gonna go to the green channel now. Okay, now my first tip when playing with less gain is to play with a positive attack. If you're used to shredding with high gain and you play with a low gain tone for the first time, this is probably how you're playing your guitar. With a very light touch because all that high gain has been doing the heavy lifting. However, all you need to do to get that positive attack is to just give the pick a slightly firmer grip. You know, don't death grip it. Don't try to squeeze it to death. Just, you know, give it a little, <laughs> little pinch. So from here, grip tighter. Then just keep adjusting your grip until you get a nice firm fundamental note. Notice that in hunting for that perfect grip, I am not hitting the guitar any harder. You know, I'm just varying my uh, degrees of gripping. So I can go from Two. And I'm not, I'm not putting more muscle into it. It's all in the grip. Then if you're using a regular pick, like, you know, like this, this is a typical 
heavy pick. I can actually change the response of this pick from medium to you know super hard, depending on how firmly I grip it. So I can go from grip harder. So that can be a good exercise, you know, go from soft to hard without hitting the guitar more. <laughs> Just play around with varying degrees of, you know, grip firmness. And this ties in nicely to the next tip, which is to play with more dynamics. This is how you work on dynamics on electric guitar. Now, when I just added accents to my playing, I didn't really hit the guitar any harder. I just gripped the pick tighter. So you can go from soft, then maybe every other note, just squeeze on the pick. So I am actively doing this instead of <laughs> just really, you know, wailing on the guitar. Wailing on the guitar comes last. Now the next tip involves letting the notes breathe. When we play with less gain, there's usually the misconception that there is a lot more empty space in between our playing. So the tendency is to add more notes, even when you don't need to. <laughs> So like if I have this nice dynamic overdrive uh, given to me by the 74 Deluxe Green Channel with the toggle switch down. Try to be really patient and let that note develop. A lot of times, you know, since we don't have the high gain sustain, we tend to add a lot more notes. No, just let it breathe. Letting the note breathe also involves not hitting the string as hard as you can, which is why I led off with that dynamic picking exercise. In fact, if you hit a less gainy tone with all your might, you're actually choking the note. Okay, as opposed to... Compare it with. <laughs> no. Be tender. Less gain also allows you to play with more notes, but not in succession, but rather stacked up on each other. So instead of playing something like. You can go and have them ring over each other and that'll work. And you can fill out space that way.
Now, for the most part, I have stuck with one setting on the pedal, and I am just varying everything with my hands. Uh, yeah, and that's the next tip. Don't be afraid to experiment with, you know, places to attack your guitar. So you can experiment with hitting the string here or here. You now have more tonal coverage now that you don't have, you know, uber high gain. Playing with less gain lets you put an arc to your line so you can start you know, soft, uh, down low, and then firm up as you go high and then go back soft again. For me, it's a more expressive way in presenting your lines. And aside from exploring, you know, the different hand positions, now you can also get the most out of your pickup selector switch. finish this video, let me share some quick thoughts on the 74 Deluxe pedal. The quickest thought is that I, <laughs> I really like this pedal. I like it very much. It is a nice British voiced pedal that fits my playing just right up my alley. I love the green channel, the lower gain channel, and I love all the voicing switches. You just hear a lot of the guitar through this pedal. <laughs> Voice switch up on either channel makes it even more comfortable to play under the fingers. And the EQ is nice and responsive. You can set it however you want and you get musical tones. list for the 74 Deluxe um, to make it fit my playing better uh, lies in the switching. Since I like all four voicings of this pedal, I wish I had an easy way to switch between all of them whenever, you know, whenever my whim calls for it. Right now, each foot switch is assigned to a specific channel and it's only on and off. There is no stacking. It's either or. So it's either green or red. You can't do both. Right. So I wish there was a mode switch where this would end up being an always on pedal. And then one switch would be, you know, toggle between green and red. And then the other switch would toggle between the voicings. So I can set up my toggle down green channel as my pushed clean and then switch to voice up uh, for a, you know, pushed lead tone or slightly crunchier tone. And then go to the red channel, you know, rhythm tone with the voice switch down, lead tone with the voice switch up. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, that would be my preferred setup. Okay, there you have it. Those are my tips on how to play with less gain. Again, big thanks to LPD Pedals for sponsoring this video and for giving me free reign in using the 74 Deluxe in this guitar sharing video. Don't forget, if you want your own 74 Deluxe or to check out the rest of the LPD pedal line, there will be a link to their website in the video description. And since you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think of the 74 Deluxe pedals, or if you have any other tips when playing with less gain. Put them in the comments. Share away. Click on the end card to go watch another video, then go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. 
Cheers, guys.